What if I told you we can cure many of our deadliest diseases, like cancer, just by eating our poop? <laughs> okay, I get it. It's poop. It's dirty and 냄새 나요 and eat this? 미쳤어? But inside this brown mush, there are millions of our bacteria and they can do some pretty amazing things. So tonight, I want to share with all of you guys the magic of our poop. We might be used to thinking our bodies as just human cells and organs, but our bodies are actually huge ecosystems of both human and bacterial cells all living together in harmony. In fact, there are 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells in our bodies, and more than a thousand different species of bacteria live in our guts. In total, we have so much bacteria, they can weigh more than two kilograms. You see, not all bacteria are bad, but rather, most are good. And we need these bacteria to help us digest food, make nutrients, and even fight off bad bacteria. In our guts, these bacterial cells communicate and work together with our immune cells to help teach them how to react in different disease conditions. As you can see, our bacteria are an incredibly important friend living inside of us. However, when we are sick, these bacteria, they can also suffer. In diseases like cancer and diabetes, the bacterial species in our guts have been found to change, and this change seems to make the disease even worse. But the good news is, when sick patients eat the poop of healthy people, their bacteria are restored, and this can actually help cure the disease. This process of eating poop to cure diseases is called fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT in short. Today's research is showing that FMT can help cure diseases ranging from just cancer and diabetes all the way to even malnutrition in children. So now, without the need for expensive medicines, our poop can be an incredibly powerful tool to fight even the worst of our diseases. So, the next time you use the toilet, before you flush, you might want to consider just taking one small taste. Thank you, time. <laughs> Your pooping acting, acting was very great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I wonder uh, uh, how to know uh, what bacteria species have resistance to disease in a lot of microbiome? So that is exactly the research that our laboratory is doing, because this field of microbiota is actually relatively new. Maybe 20 years ago, people didn't really understand that bacteria are inside of us and they're working with our cells. So right now, the goal of our research is to study first what is good bacteria, what is bad bacteria? And then we want to see what is each doing with our human body cells. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the, your fascinating um, presentation. Um, just wondering, um, because in the experiment, um, you, need to, you need to measuring that the proper proportions of between the, the communication between the bacteria and that immune system. So how can you figure out, how can you uh, measure that uh, proper proportion? So. so our laboratory is actually quite unique. Um, we're among the only laboratories in Korea to have a germ-free mouse room. This means the mouse are grown in the condition there are, where there are no bacteria. In this mice, there's completely no bacteria. This means you can give this mice different kinds of bacteria and you can see exactly what each bacteria is doing inside this, this mouse. So one of those strategies that we are using, of course, in our poop, there are millions of our bacteria, so we cannot just pick one by one. So what a better model is, is we want to take the sample of the poop from the healthy people and then give it to the mice. 
And then we can also alternatively give the poop of the sick people and give it to the mice. And then exactly we can see, maybe not what one by one bacteria is doing, but we can see as a whole kind of the activity that is going on. 네, 저는 먼저 한국말로 질문을 드릴게요. 어, 사람들이 저는 정말 이걸 약으로서 섭취를 할지 물어보려고 합니다. Uh, do you mean real uh, your medicine from really originated from others poop or you just mean it's really poop. Really poop. So, so we really think that people really eat it. <laughs> actually not in Korea, but in other parts, especially in America, this uh, practice is actually used. And throughout history, it was used, even before the science. Um, but it's a little bit dangerous because in the poop, there's also bad bacteria. So you need, if you want to make this into the medicine, you need to figure out only the good bacteria and leave behind the bad bacteria. So in short, yes, you can really eat poop, but if you want to make poop into the medicine, there's a little bit of uh, processing that is necessary. Thank you. Okay, please give him a big applause.